<clears throat> hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today I want to bring you CC Cycle 2, Week 18 Hands-On Science Experiments, and those are going to be from pages 101 and 102 in your Being Thieves Guide. We're doing Lifter today and Ramp. So I'm going to start with lifter, and the, the uh, materials you'll need for this one are really simple. You'll just need a screw and um, some discussion points. So you can have, um, you can get larger screws than this too, like at a hardware store. Um, you have one for each student, or it could be a tutor demonstration. And then, um, but I really encourage, um, you know, with supervision of the little ones too, that, that all the students get the chance to, to try this one. Um, so. And I like to have Nicole Liam's uh, science scripts. You could get these from CC Connected, and she's got some really good um, talking points and questions you can ask. So we're gonna be talking about simple machines today, and one of those we're gonna be talking about is the screw. So just hold up the screw and kind of ask the students questions. What do they observe about the screw? Is it flat? Is it round? Is it smooth? Um, it's got these ridges on it. Are those ridges straight across? Are they at an angle? And just what do they observe about this screw? And ask some questions, do, what did they use screws for? Like what have they observed that screws have been used for? Um, let's get their, their thoughts and observations on that. And so for this um, demonstration, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this, the bottom of the screw between your fingers with one hand, and you're gonna turn the screw clockwise with your other hand, and you're gonna observe what happens. You can get their hypothesis, what's going to happen. Um, is anything gonna happen with this screw? Um, and you'll notice that this screw goes down. I did not move these fingers, but as I turn the screw, the screw moved down in my fingers. And so why is that? You get their hypothesis. And so what, and you can do it the opposite way. You turn it counterclockwise and it comes out. And let the students take turns trying it as well. So it has to do with these ridges on, on the screw and helps it move up and down because they're at an angle. And we'll talk about this a little bit more in the next experiment, but if they've ever been like on a winding road around a mountain or um, like even on an amusement park ride, they're going up, up, up. So, um, you know, if they've ever taken a screwdriver and put a screw down into a board, um, what do they notice as they turn it a little bit and a little bit more, it goes down, down, down. And so, um, that's a good time to talk about different simple machines. And so the screw, and Nicoleum has some good descriptions of the different simple machines and some pictures too. So think about different things that have like a screw on them. And one example she shows is, is a jar lid. And so think about if you just push down on the lid if it didn't have those ridges and you just tried to hold the jar lid on versus screwing it on, which way is easier? Um, these other simple machines, there's an inclined plane and that helps us move something up a lot easier. We're gonna talk about that in the next experiment too, but think about if you have a moving truck and you're trying to put, put a box up into the truck, is it easier to lift the box up straight or is it easier to push it up a ramp? You have a wedge here. So the, an example of that is an ax. So if you just tried to slice through a log like a knife, um, that's a lot harder than if you used a wedge shape to kind of split the wood open. You have a lever, and that's like a, a teeter-totter or seesaw, or even the back of this hammer. You use that to help you pull things or to move things. Um, to a higher level. You have a wheel and axle. So there's lots of examples of this. There's a door handle. We use them on our cars. Um, we use a lot of, of wheels and that helps us move things uh, in an easier way. 
you have this groove course and you have a pulley and um, the cool thing about a pulley is that you could try to lift something straight up but if you have a pulley and you use a rope over that pulley and pull down <clears throat> instead of having to lift it up you actually have to use half the force so it helps you lift things a lot easier so simple machines help make our lives a lot easier and all the machines that we have to do things are just a combination of these simple machines and so a screw is something that helps us hold something together a lot easier um, <clears throat> than if we just had to you know you think about comparing it to a nail that is smooth you have to hammer um, probably a lot harder to get you know this down into a piece of wood if this was a nail of the same size than just <clears throat> making small turns to get it down into the wood so what we're gonna learn is that a screw is actually an inclined plane or a ramp that is wrapped around this center shaft. So this is a cool demonstration um, just so they could observe what happens when you screw in a screw. And we're gonna learn more about how that works in the next experiment. So good time to discuss simple machines and some examples of those. All right, we're gonna jump to number 185, ramp. And for this one, you can do it as a tutor demonstration, or you can have the students each have their own uh, sample to create. But you'll need a five inch square of paper, and you'll need a pencil, and some tape, and scissors, and a ruler. So the older students, they can measure out their square and cut it. Um, some of the younger students, you might wanna help them. Um, but you have a five inch square and then you're going to use the ruler to uh, draw a diagonal line and before you cut it I recommend just like coloring um, making it a thicker line because it's going to help you observe what's what's happening um, and then cut it so I have I used a blue marker to kind of cut or to draw darken that line before I cut it so you're going to have um, a triangle which if you Think about back to your examples of simple machines. This is a ramp or an inclined plane, like a ramp. And so we are going to take a pencil and tape one of the tall sides to the pencil. I just used some clear tape. And then your, your longer side, the color side is gonna be um, over here on the top. And so you're gonna wrap it around and get their questions okay what's going to happen to the paper as we wrap it around what's it going to look like and as you do it you'll notice that your line wraps around it looks kind of like a candy cane or it looks like the screw that we had earlier the little ridges around the screw that are kind of at a slanted position and they're wrapping all the way around and so that's actually how what's going on with the screw is if we could un roll this ridge it would be a long line that is actually in the shape of an inclined plane and so why why would we use something like this or where would we use it so obviously for screws and also um, for like going up a mountain um, they may make the road that goes around and kind of winding up or a hiking trail and so if you think about it, what's what's easier? So if this was the top of our mountain, is it easier just to climb up this way or drive straight up? Or is it easier to drive up an inclined plane? Is it easier to walk up an inclined plane versus just straight climbing straight up? Um, and obviously it's not very safe to drive straight up. And so when you're trying to drive up a, a mountain, you need um, something like this. And so if, if they wrap the road around the mountain, if it goes round and round, you'll eventually get to the top and it will be a lot easier and a lot safer. So this is um, a fun experiment. You can do it different ways too. You could do it um, with a square paper. You can make it also longer and try like a longer triangle to wrap around. Um, so you would take, instead of a, a square piece of paper, you would maybe double it or 
one and a half times maybe maybe try seven or eight inches by five inches and and make a longer triangle that way and see if that changes the number of lines you see on your screw and um, so if you have like a gentler inclined plane it'd be a lot easier to go up but you're going to have to go around a lot more times that's what you'll observe so this is a really fun experiment i remember really enjoying this one with the students and just uh, letting them have a turn with this as well if you do a tutor demonstration and um, so as engineers the engineers love to use uh, all these types of simple machines to make uh, machines and devices that help make our lives easier and so to you can just brainstorm of what are some ideas of some simple machines that you've seen what are some things that we use that make our lives easier and what simple machines um, are they made out of so this is a fun experiment uh, CC cycle 2 week 18 and I'll see you guys soon